SCP-1024 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1024 is kept in a secure locker at Reliquary Containment Site 76 under standard Level 3 Bibliomorphic Containment Conditions. Access to SCP-1024 is prohibited without Level 3 authorization. Personnel assigned to researching SCP-1024 have standing authorization for access, but must inform their project leader before accessing SCP-1024 and must log all activity related to its use. Description SCP-1024 is a modified Dungeons & Dragons basic boxed set, published in 1981 in nearly new condition consisting of a rulebook, a module, a pre-printed adventure, a catalog, a set of dice, and a crayon. Although SCP-1024 superficially resembles a standard box set sold at the time, the rulebook and module have had their pages removed and replaced with sheets of vellum and bound using platinum staples. The pages are filled with diagrams and text written in classic Latin using red ink, and the books smell faintly of sulfur. Together, the two books provide basic information with which one can, with sufficient study and practice, invoke a variety of low-powered anomalous effects. The rulebook, designated SCP-1024-01, is 64 pages long and contains general information regarding invoking these effects, including the types of materials to be used and why, how to choose and prepare a location for invoking these effects, how to prepare the self beforehand, and steps to take in case something goes wrong. SCP-1024-01 does not include procedures for invoking any special effect, however. The module, designated SCP-1024-02, is 32 pages long and contains step-by-step -step instructions for invoking a variety of effects, based on information found in SCP-1024-01. Anomalous effects that have been successfully invoked using procedures found in SCP-1024-02 include Creating a protective circle SCP-1024-01 notes that invoking this circle is recommended before performing any other process. Changing superficial traits on an object, such as its color or roughness. Changing the ambient temperature slightly generally by no more than 5 degrees Celsius. Repairing minor damage an object has sustained. Healing minor injuries. Causing a short-lived tactile effect on another person, such as an itch or a tickle. Reading the surface thoughts of another person for brief periods. Causing a small animal, no larger than a mouse, to spontaneously appear. The books imply that stronger effects can be invoked using information that can be found in a different, more advanced set of books. However, no such volumes have yet been found. The remaining components of SCP-1024, the catalog, dice, crayon, and box, do not appear to have any anomalous properties.